wonderful Amity Bloom family. Thank you for joining me again today. I am going to be filming a journaling process video in my TN Junk Journal. Um, the pages are somewhat already finished. They're just a couple that I need to go back and, and fill in. I think I'm going to... I'll do this page because I never finished this page, so I guess I'll finish since I started it a while ago. So as you can see on the background, I actually covered up the page. The background paper looked just like this and decided to cover it up with this vintage paper and then I added some fabric and some lace on the side just to give it some more interest. What I think I'm going to do is make a collage on this page. This page to me is more of a collage and then I can journal on this side. Let's see what I want to use. Um, I have a lot of stuff in front of me. I have a lot of fabric. I'll quickly show you some beautiful floral fabrics that I have in my stash. I'm thinking of offering them in my Etsy shop just because um, there are some really beautiful um, vintage floral patterns that I really want to use. I mean, look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? This I'm actually saving for a journal cover for myself. Isn't that gorgeous? So um, I also have some beautiful lace that I want to use. Um, I recently hit the jackpot with lace um, at a recent estate sale. So I think think let me know if you'd be interested of offering some like lace um like textile digital kits on my Etsy shop just because I mean look at this this is just stunning let me know if you'd be interested I think I might do that okay so let's see I have some fabric do I want to cover no I want to keep it very cool I don't want to I want to keep it this color some book pages I like that. So as I am gluing down that little piece of scrap paper, is anyone else like me? Leave it in the comments below if you also are a huge fan of using scraps of book pages in your journal to decorate or to do collages. It's the perfect background in my opinion. So when in doubt, use book pages. <laughs> and then here I'm putting some floral fabric onto the page. All right, so I just finished sewing the sides of that floral piece of fabric. I just think that adding some sewing really adds more interest to the piece of fabric and it makes it look as if you sewed it onto the page when you really didn't. You just um, sewed it on beforehand. I know I mentioned a couple videos back that I was going to be offering fabric embellishments in my Etsy shop and I still am, but I'm thinking of why not offering them as a digital download as well. Um, I have a huge selection and it's kind of embarrassing to, to share, but I have a huge selection of vintage um, fabric that I've gotten from antique stores and my huge stash of bohemian um, fabrics from Nepal and India that I got from the antique market. And, you know, cutting them into squares, adding lace, adding buttons, basically making a fabric collage um, taking a picture of them and offering them as a digital download. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. That way for those of you who don't want to invest in a sewing machine or don't want to take the time to learn how to use a sewing machine but you still want that look, all you have to do is download it, print it, and glue it to your page. It's in a matter of seconds you have that beautiful look and you didn't even have to have a sewing machine to begin with. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm always trying to see how I can help you guys with your journaling and I know it can be a huge responsibility to even own a sewing machine or to learn how to use it and I think this is a great shortcut for those of you who want that look. Just cutting out some steps along the way to make your life easier. <laughs> now I'm just going through some, I think that was a poem that I had and cutting out some phrases, seeing which one I like the best and of course I went with the one that talked about a flower since there is a flower on my page. <laughs> Now I'm looking through my scraps of paper, trying to pick out some scraps that have pinkish tones. Um, when I'm doing my collages, I like to focus on a color scheme just so that it looks more cohesive. 
I think that's the most important thing when making a collage or making a journal page, like an art journal page, is sticking to a color scheme. That is probably my most important tip that I can share. And talking about collages and journal pages, I actually am working on a very special um, project that I have not shared yet simply because I want it to be a surprise. Um, I will give a little hint that it has to do with a magazine that I am creating and designing myself. It is something that is very unique and extremely special to me just because it involves this community, which is the most exciting part. I cannot wait to share it with you all. So I will keep everyone updated on when I will be sharing the special project, so stay tuned. <laughs> And now I am simply sewing on a button to the page. You guys know my obsession with buttons. I cannot restrain myself. <laughs> it adds a lot of characteristic to the page. So at the back, I am tying a little bow and it kind of serves as two purposes. One, on the back, you have a cute little bow and on the front, you have a cute little button. So it's like having two types of ephemera in one. And I think that's the finished page. I'm just adding some lace on the bottom. Alrighty, so I just finished the collage. Um, I was thinking of cutting into this lace, but because it is really vintage and really antique and very delicate, and I'm sure I'm not going to find another piece of lace like this, I am deciding to not cut it up. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to keep it on there, and I'm going to take a picture of the page. And the reason being is because I'm thinking of putting this collage on my Etsy shop as like a digital download. A couple months ago, I had a wonderful friend, Hallie. Hello, Hallie. Miss Labyrinth Rock Gal, definitely check out her channel. She has some really great videos. She basically suggest, suggested that I offer journal pages or my collaged pages as digital downloads, which is an amazing idea. And I think this one would be a great way to initiate that whole project. Um, I think I will just title it what I decided, the phrase that I decided to use is what makes the flowers grow because anyone can interpret it as they wish. I think this would be great as a journal cover. That's what I think I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take a picture of it and print it out and then this will be my next journal cover. I think that's what I'm going to be doing to the pages that I do collages on. I will probably... Um, include those as like digital downloads that you guys can use either as pages in your journals or as journal covers or as pockets or whatever you'd like to create with it. Dashboards, you can make so many things with it. So I think that is it for this page. Um, I was planning on maybe doing a couple more pages, but that will be probably part two or I'll, I'll have a couple videos in this series with my journal with me. But that was one of the pages. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun to create it. I missed using lace and florals. Um, I love the rustic and boho style, but sometimes it's great to take a break and try something different. And this kind of brings me back to my comfort zone, which was florals and lace and fabric. So very, very excited. I even added a little button, <laughs> as you guys know my obsession with buttons so I added a little button up at the top and I loved how it turned out so now that I have a mess on my desk I think it's time to say goodbye if you guys enjoyed this process video and if you would be interested in perhaps more of these journal collage digital images thank you so much for watching and until next time I hope that you have a great day filled with peace and love bye bye